So the problem with push rod tubes seals is that they, they can leak and this heads, these heads were leaking real bad. And so I could see how I'm trying to show how loose this is. And I never really tried to do this before, but I'm holding the camera with my hand. You put it in there from the outside like that and just see how tight that seal is. And this seal is not tight at all. And that's going to leak. And that's why they were leaking before. So what I did, and this one is 100, uh, anyway, this one here has been fixed. And what I did is I put some Teflon tape around there and see how snug that is fitting in there. And this is about 15 thousandths bigger in diameter, maybe 20. And that isn't going to leak. That shouldn't leak. That is like, you know, it's in there tight. I'm pulling on it a little bit and it's, it's snug. So I'm going to try to show how I fix that. So this is a push rod tube that's averaging out about it's not, just a little under 200. 1.25 250 thousandths. Okay. Now this one I, I got it fixed with the Teflon tape, and I'm going to show how I, how I did that. And this one's coming in about 15 thousandths bigger in diameter. And this is the one that's not. This is the one that fits a lot better, and that shouldn't leak. So what I did. If I can get my stuff here, if I can find my stuff, what I did is I took some Teflon tape. And I wasn't too fancy about it. I'm going to try to be fancy on the video here. Some Teflon tape. And this is the uh, stuff for gas pipelines, gas pipe. And I took a strip about so long. I guess that's about five inches. And to get it to fit into the pipe, I carefully folded it in half. Like so. That shows on the camera. You want to get it right in half, perf perfectly in half, otherwise it won't fit properly. make it like that. And then take a push rod tube. It doesn't matter, I don't think, I don't know. Get it in there. Try to get it to fit just like that. As so even as you can so that it fits flat. Hopefully that's showing in the camera. I did a better job on the other one. I think this is good enough though. So once it's in there, it should do the job. Just get it in there like that. Put a little Teflon tape in there. Don't want any of it out. Just get it in there like that. And then you got your O ring. And just put it on. And do this all dry without any oil. And there you go. That's on there. Now, one could think, oh, that Teflon could tape could come out. I don't think it's coming out. I don't think it will. I think it will stay right in there. Okay. Now, this hasn't been put on yet. So, but we'll see what we come up with here, and how big this one is. And this is coming in about, yeah, one, about the same, 165. I mean, I'm sorry, one inch, 200, one point, one point two seven plus. So this hasn't been installed, so it's not squished down as much, maybe. So it's coming a little bigger. 
that's okay. Maybe I got a little bit more in there. And then I go, when I install this, it's going to be tight. And I assume that the same thing you can do on the center O-ring if that's loose. And uh, there's more to it than that. I'm going to show some more stuff.